Uh, hi, Paul Sykes. Good news broadcast speaking to Chef Ryan Scott. Hi, Chef. How are you? I couldn't be better, my man. How are you in that hot weather in New York City? Uh, I'm fine. That's fine. Maybe we'll take off a pound or two, and then I'll be able to have more cheeseburgers and hamburgers, <laughs> and, and I'll be able to <laughs> get to something that I literally, literally love. What do you think it is about the hamburger uh, that uh, so many are just, they just, it's... It's, it's America. It's a, it's a dream. I, I really think it, it, it's what we stand for. It's our staple, you know. Uh, you know, in Mexico, you the Latino food and the burritos and the tacos that are a little Americanized, I mean, that's the way you transcend it into that. But you think about California, you think about the United States, think about New York, you think w- burger is our, it's our go-to, it's our staple. It is a staple. You can go into a diner, and they're all over. I love diners, all right? You sit down there, and you look at a menu with about 62 pages, okay? Uh, it depends. <laughs> Half of them are some Daniel Steele novels, some not, you know? <laughs> And 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 the, and the waiter comes over and they say, "What do you want? Cheeseburger." <laughs> yeah, yeah, number forty-two of the seventy-five that you have. <laughs> it, 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 what do you think? It's it's convenient. It's easy to eat, and it's uh, filling. And uh, what do you think it is about it? I think it's just you know. I think a lot of my memories when I think back as a kid with my family, it was it's based around hamburger. Is you know we did the meatloaf, we did hamburger night every Friday night, we did tacos one night, and it, you know I was a beef centric family that's what we based everything around but hamburger is um it's a it's a joyous food that pe- that makes people happy and it's a, you know it can you can you hear guys like daniel blue that make it a thirty thousand a thirty dollar burger and in vegas it's a thousand dollar burger you can just get the classic burger like the shake shack burger in new york city and you know it's six bucks and it's good anywhere you go now chef ryan scott though he's a kind of a serious dude though and the uh, cooking world uh, you're a chef testant and <laughs> it says you're in a top rated reality show and uh, zeroed in the love this i love this love for cooking at the age of nine when he began asking for cooking utensils for christmas instead of traditional <laughs> toys i know i didn't want a hot wheels i wanted a food dehydrator and my parents were like something is wrong with this kid and then the next year i asked for a walk and uh, they're like because i didn't I, I didn't rush home to watch power rangers i rushed home to watch martin yan and, and galloping gourmet because the Food Network wasn't popping when I was in a, uh-huh. when I was in junior high and high school, so I, I was watching Great Chefs on the Discovery Channel, I think it was, and it was weird, but it was something about food at a young age that it was I was all about it. My parents worked double jobs. I, we came up, and I grew up in a really poor home, uh-huh. and I was uh, experimenting. And my parents learned, they're like, you know what? His experiments are feeding your, his sister and his brother while we're at work. So go to town. So they would stock the fridge with hamburger. And uh, I would just, I would make anything and everything that I saw on TV. And before you knew it, I was, uh, you know, 10 or 11 and cranking out meals for my whole family. I made sandwiches for my brother and I in the morning before we go to school. And a dish that my brother is a fireman now. Congratulations to him. He graduated the academy last week. But, oh, congratulations, uh, it, and thank you for doing that job. Please pass that along. No, I, 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 there's nothing better. Than, and watching my, I, I honestly say this, watching my brother graduate last week was the biggest and best achievement I've ever seen in my life. I've never been more touched to see. And watching the video and what he, go, what he went through uh-huh. to get to graduate, uh-huh. I just, you know, I uh-huh. wake up every day and work 16 hours a day and cook uh-huh. and stand. Uh-huh. But, you know, you think about it. You make that phone call. Who shows up? My brother and the paramedics, they show up, and we need to give more gratitude to them all the time. So do me and a favor. Uh, tell him I'd like to interview him. If he's I would love for you to do that. Uh, yeah, most that, definitely. That's yeah, done. And we'll done deal. It. But uh, there's a dish that you, I used to make for him, uh, going back to that, and I did a tuna melt and, and a quesadilla with cheese, and then I would cover it with Denison's chili and uh-huh. onions and cheddar cheese on top. Now, to me, fish and cheese doesn't go together anymore in my culinary world, but my brother still to this day still makes it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a staple that I made when I, what is that, that's 19 years ago that I made that dish, and he still makes it. Uh-huh. Right. Is that right? Let, let's talk about the, uh, about, about getting back to our, our, our friendly hamburger, because we got Memorial Day happening, and that's a serious hamburger and cheeseburger and uh, day. day and onions and all the sides and so on and so forth. So, so th- do you have some thoughts about it, uh, uh, better ways to make burgers and uh, uh, you know, type of meat. What kind of, is is it important to get? You know, there's different kinds of meat. There's uh, meat that has more fat in it, less fat. What, what, mm-hmm. What's a good suggest? Thinner burgers. Uh, give, give us some help here. Well, the suggestions that I'm, I, I want to steer people towards today, and what I really, really want to hone in and talk about is, you know, thinking about eating a little lighter. Uh, okay. You know, it's it's it, you don't have to take away the the savvy, delicious goodness that we are used to eating and cutting back. Because the moment that you think healthy, what do people do? 
their faces cringe and they get the, like they're eating sour pu- puckers or something like that. They're like, no, no, I can't do it. Okay. You, you're just going to cut back a little bit. And the way to cut back is introducing new foods into your diet, trying things just a little bit more differently. And, you know, my friend Jamie has been doing it on the show and he's talked about it. He's like, you know, I'm not sitting here telling everybody that I'm, uh, you know, a health-centric conscious person and I'm, gonna, I'm a doctor. I just want to show you that there's fresh, great ingredients out there and just introducing them into your diet a little bit more instead of, you know, the fro- you know like uh, things that are not in season, you know, and things that are not healthy. So, yeah, exactly what you're saying. The typical burger is anywhere from 80-20, so that means the fat ratio per pound is 20% fat. Um, it's 70-30, 80-20. I say cut back on that. Go a little leaner. Do the 10%. Uh, it will grill quicker because it doesn't have a higher fat ratio, so you got to watch out for that. So it'll cook a lot quicker and it'll carry over a lot fatter, fa- faster, fatter. Okay. <laughs> it'll carry a lot over a lot faster because you don't have that fat to protect it. But also, I want people to try try this season. What I want to do this is a, this is all about biting into a better burger for me, and this is what I want to get across. Okay. Do th- three things this this Memorial Day season. Okay. Take turkey or chicken and make your own turkey or chicken ground patties. And then you're going to take your, do your, you know, 10, 10, 20%, whatever it is, just go, drop it down 10% of what you usually buy your hamburger meat, uh, you know, fat ratio. And then I want to introduce a veggie burger to you, to the people okay. this weekend when you're Great. grilling. I want people to try and go out there and, and introduce a veggie burger to the grill. And Morningstar Farms Grillers Original is the way that I'm going, and I want everybody else to go. This has, check this out, the original typical burger has anywhere to 250 calories mm-hmm. and anywhere from 9 grams of fat per burger. That's not with my brother's addition of the mushrooms and bacon and cheese and <laughs> everything else and the white bun that has so much fat inside of it, too. This burger has 57% less fat than the regular ground beef, and it only has 130 calories, and this is the, this is the caveat that I love, 15, gr- 15 grams of protein in this burger, and this is a yeah. veggie burger. And it's a grilling burger, it's Grillers Original. It is made for Memorial Day weekend, I'm telling you. This has the mesquite flavor, it's meaty and delicious, so if you, you want to try the alternative and maybe jump into something a little bit different that has that meat, but you're like, okay, I'm willing to, let's, let's try it a little different. Maybe some kids are gonna say, okay, I'll have chicken instead. But try it. I you think it's a great idea. I'm, a, I'm on your page here, and I, I believe you know there, there's there's room for everybody's taste. And uh, but I I I, be frank, I haven't tried the Morningstar ones yet. Okay. Uh, but I do know that first of all, to make a veggie burger is not such an easy thing personally to do. No, it's there's not. A, the getting the proper consistency to make it happen is not easy. Now, if there's a uh, a good veggie burger out there, uh, and more and more people are becoming uh, ve- vegans and vegetarians and uh, and it is by far a healthy choice it's a wise kind of thing i i love turkey burgers also uh, and uh, i believe they have some turkey burger i'm looking at the morning star farms uh, website which is a very honorable company but how long has that been around morning star that's a it's, it's a re- it's it's been around as long as i can remember as long yeah. as i've been eating vegetarian so i mean we're talking six plus but i know it's longer than that. it's it's a it's a Kellogg brand. And you can't go wrong with that. I oh, mean, they're right? just okay. they stand behind it. You know, a lot of people know the the veggie burgers from their their uh, the Morning Star from their spicy black bean and their garden veggie patties, but which are really great and they're ones that were in my been in my fridge for years. But this grill is original. Is I mean, <laughs> I'm smiling on how well this product is and how well they did it. And um, and it's it's great for the grill and it's it's a great substitute and that great switch out. I'm not saying throw all those in the burgers and don't put any meat out this weekend. A third of it. Just try a third of it and, and swap now, it out a little bit. Now wait a second, because I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm learning and experimenting. I just took off 30 pounds. I wrote a little diet book myself. Congratulations uh, to and, you. And uh, they're publishing it this weekend. Uh, not the the first episode in the in, a, in the paper. I, I didn't write. I, I didn't get the book published but um but it is it is making wise choices first mm-hmm. of all one wise choice is find somebody to do it with <laughs> and that i had my landlord and i but uh uh the weight loss but making wise choices because a lot of the if we talk burgers so it, uh is the onions is maybe a little bit of dietetic cheese is, uh-huh. is the accoutrements that go along with it right yeah now, the black bean what's the black bean do you have you had that one spicy black bean oh spicy burger? black bean is it does that's what I usually have for breakfast. I do it with a, for instance, an English muffin. You okay. know, it's two to three grams of fat, a couple hundred, I think it's like 150 calories per. I use a crumpet. There's no calories in a crumpet. 
you toast it, you get that bread substitute that you want. And I put one of the black bean veggie burgers, I put a garden burger, even the grill is original if you want to do that, and not have all the bread and use a crumpet instead. And then put all your stuff on top. And I use non-fat cottage cheese for my cheese substitute. Uh, and good idea. the curds, I get that cheese flavor that I want, but I get no fat. And it's great. I mean, I travel so much. I mean, I'm a, I'm a lean guy, but it's take, it's, I'm a lean guy trying. Okay, this is a, it's it's hard for me to stay where I'm at, especially as much as I travel. And it's about moderation. You know, I drink a glass of water with everything that I eat, and I never I don't drink soda. I try not to drink coffee. I drink fresh squeezed juices. I don't get anything from a concentrate. And it does. A lot of people are scared, I think, by it because it actually costs a little bit to be a little healthier. But in the long run, you're you're buying more time in this beautiful world that we live in. I love your thinking here. Look, look listen to this other couple here. I'm, I'm going shopping later today, obviously. That'll Tomato be. and basil pizza burgers? Oh, you name it. We got it all on that website. It's, it's morningstarfarms.com. If you want breakfast, we got it on there. You want lunch. And if you're talking Memorial Day, we've got it all over there. What's this Asian veggie patties? Asian veggie patties is another product they have there. Super delicious. It's kind of like that teriyaki kind of little uh, kick. Oh, my God. All right. Well, a lot of good things here. Thanks, uh, Chef, uh, for, for sharing them with us. Uh, a tremendous uh, opportunity for people to be, be healthier.